So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the new Team of the Week content that was released today. You can see both new heroes that are out, which is 91 Cam Newton and a 91 Telvin Smith. A little... I'd like to think Cam Newton is a little questionable and not because I know exactly who did well on Sunday because I did not. But uh, he just got a flashback card not too long ago. So you would like for them to spread the love, spread the wealth. This is his third card. He has an 86 base elite. He has an 89 flashback and now a 91 overall team of the week card. But I think he had like 300 some odd. I mean, I think he had like a monster day. But let's go on ahead and... Uh, <clears throat> take a look at the sets and see what it is uh, we got that goes into the set so offensively these are all of the players that uh, go into the set you see I pulled a few packs we actually have a few of them on uh, this account I didn't really pull anything crazy I did pull uh, 89 Devonte Adams I sold for 340k but outside of that you know I was recording and just in case I pull like anything astronomically crazy uh, and then I upload it, but besides that, Devontae Adams, I didn't get anything, so not worth uh, posting. But uh, we got Ed Dixon, who's a 74 overall. We have Aaron Jones, who's a 74 overall as well. <clears throat> then we got Zach Fulton with a 75 overall. Marquise Goodwin, 76 overall. Joe Barksdale, 77 overall. Tommy Bohannon with a 78 overall. Jake Fisher, 79 overall. And then we got our five elites. 81 overall, Jahari Evans. 83 overall, Carson Wentz. 85 overall, Leonard Fournette. 87 overall, Shaq Mason. And then 89 overall, Devontae Adams. <clears throat> now, a lot of people are taking a look at this uh, on Twitter, on this Carson Wentz card, because when you compare him to the 80 overall uh, starter pack elite that you get when you like first get the game and you got like your uh, your pre-order bonuses, and you got an 80 overall elite for um, you know any team you want. That 80 overall elite has better throwing stats than this 83 overall uh, Carson Wentz, which is crazy. And you put all those cards in, and then you're able to get 91 overall Cam Newton. Now on defense, we're going to take a look and see what you need for this uh, Telvin Smith. <clears throat> 74 overall Cody Davis. 74 overall Woods. 75 overall Beckwith. We have a David Irwin, 76 overall. A Hughes at 77 overall. Kenny Clark, 78 overall. We have a Robinson at 79 overall. At 81 overall, here are our elites. We have uh, Randall. We have an 83 overall Alonzo. 85 overall Jason McCourty. 87 overall Barry, take him to church. And an 89 overall Mark Barron. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Mark Barron. Who's going for a whopping 335k? Really, really, really expensive. Love the card art for this card as well. <clears throat> 85 speed, 86 awareness at six foot two, so definitely a good user. Uh, just tremendous zone. I mean, you take a look at that zone coverage for a linebacker. That's insane. 87 zone coverage is absolutely insane for a linebacker that's damn near a cornerback out there that's crazy for a linebacker to have that type of zone coverage let's go ahead and take a look at the big shebang shebang though let's go ahead and take a look at the cam newton and also the uh telvin smith so quality 91 to 90 or well, 90 to 91 and we will go program team of the week Uh, I'm blind, excuse me. Alright, so I'm sure it's going to be way down here. I'm sure they're going to be the more expensive ones. And, uh, well, let's just get, you know, directly into them so we can see exactly what they're going for. Uh, let's start off with uh, Cam Newton. Who right now is going for... 400k. So he's going for 400k right now, which I'm sure his flashback is probably in the same range. His flashback uh, uh, got cheaper and uh, probably even lowered it now. But about 400k gets you this card. And with the patch, I heard there's so many cards overthrowing everything. So uh, I could only imagine because I have the flashback cam on my budget squad. And 
he definitely misses throws. He's going to overthrow drags. He's going to overthrow table routes. He's going to overthrow deep passes downfield. And, you know, this card accuracy isn't much better. You know, the throwing power is at 93, 84 speed, 80 awareness, 82 short, 82 medium, 77 deep, 81 play action with a 90 throw on the run. And the only thing that surpasses the elite threshold is throw power. And that uh, throwing attributes are just really, really bad. Even Michael Vick has like around the same attributes and he misses throws as well. It's like, yeah, you get your speed, but you're taking a chance on missing two to three throws a game. And they happen sporadically. And that chemistry, just, just why do they have that chemistry? They know nobody wants this chemistry. Let's be honest. They know nobody wants that damn chemistry. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at Telvin Smith. And Telvin Smith is going for a whopping 500K right now. So he has 86 speed for a linebacker that's really, really, really good. 63 strength, though, is fairly low. I mean, you take a look, and most of these gold cards are going to have more strength than him. Significantly more strength. Some of these silvers have more strength than him. Which is crazy to think they, they have him so weak. And I would like to think that strength plays into block shed. You know, how are you going to get off a block if you're not strong? You know, you're weak as almighty hell. How do you expect to get off of a block of a, an offensive lineman with high 90 strength? But, you know, 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 block shed, 66 power move, 82 finesse move, and 90 hit power. Now, Telvin Smith is uh, usually, uh, you know, known for his coverage. His main coverage is 80, and his zone coverage is 88, which, again, that's insane. That right there just doesn't make sense to have a linebacker with that high zone coverage. I mean, you have him and Barron together, like, you're talking uh, some of the best zoning cards in the game. It's just unfortunate that his chemistry is uh, is uh, blanket coverage because if it was the, the read and react, and if you got tier three of that, you're able to get plus two zone. And uh, I don't know if he has a power-up. But if he has a power up, then that's that could bring it to you know the 91 zone, and he would be jumping routes like a freaking madman, you know. Or if you had the uh, training chem for the Jaguars, where you're able to get plus one everything, he'd be jumping routes. Can you imagine a linebacker with 91 zone coverage? Can you imagine what that would do to underneath routes, and you put him in a hook zone, and them being able to play drags. Oh my god. Oh my god, the second you're able to put together a 91 zone coverage linebacker, if there isn't one already, I'm going I'm to need it. And uh, it would have been possible if he had read and react. Because again, that would have bumped him up to 90. And then training Jaguar, I probably would have done that. I would have did the training uh, um, for the Jaguars with the uniforms, the coach in the stadium. And he would be my only Jaguars player. Just so I can go on ahead and get him. 91 zone because i'm sure it would have been freaking disgusting as a linebacker it would have been crazy great speed you know everything it is you need from a right outside linebacker again his strength is really really low and he's not that good of a pass rusher when you take a look at his finesse moves and power moves you know he's not a von miller he's not a demarcus Ware, he's not a jadavion Clowney, but he's very 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 great in coverage and he's going to be able to just make plays in the passing game. Whereas DeMarcus Ware and Clowney and uh, all these other guys where they lack, you know, that's his strength, which is coverage. Uh, so those are the two newest uh, team heroes that are available. Again, we have a Cam Newton and we also have a Telvin Smith. And uh, both of those cards are going for a ton. I'm just curious as to see what is Cam Newton uh, flashback going for now. Go Team Panthers. Let's go QB. And let's go Quality Elite. So this flashback is 80k right now. And then again, you have his uh, his 91 overall card going for 400. So again, uh, those are the new heroes that are out and all the cards that are out for Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. 
Uh, who are the snubs? Talk to me. Who do you guys feel like should have gotten cards um, and did not? Or who do you feel like got a card but deserved a better card? Uh, before we go, I'm just curious as to see if uh, Telvin Smith has an upgrade. Players, AFC. North. And he does. So that means he's going to be able to have a, uh, a tier four, which is pretty much plus one, sometimes even plus two in certain attributes. But, uh, oh my goodness, if he had read and react, I probably would have did the set for him to make, um, powered him up just so I could get that 92 zone cover. I mean, that 91 zone. Because when you power up, you get plus one everything. And he would have been at 89 zone. And the read and react would have gave him 91. Why did they give him this chemistry, man? Ah, oh, my goodness. If it was read and react, we would have had a 91 zone corner. Which would have been insane. That would have been nuts. And there's probably one already. Like, I, I just have to check now. I have to check. I have to check to see who's the highest overall. Um, Cause you know I'll, I'll do that, and I'm like, oh my god, I want it so bad. Why can't he have this Kevin? People are like Nelson. Pfft, there's already four linebackers that you can possibly do that with. Okay, let's go to position. Let's go to all linebackers. Now for program. No, not program. Excuse me for rating. We want zone coverage. And the highest overall zone coverage is Paul Lusney has a 90 zone coverage. His Mud Heroes has a 90, and he has read and react. Okay, so you're able to get him to 91. I'm going to get him on my team, I promise you. Okay, he's the only one in the game that has 91 zone coverage. Good Lord, I did not know that. Paul Puzlozny. has 90 zone coverage and he also has read and react so that zone coverage at tier three is going to be at 92 oh i'm buying him and he will be put in zone situations oh my goodness i did not know that well i'm gonna be buying him very very soon <laughs> see your boy gs we're gonna go on there to be signing out peace